this is Kat again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Sims 3 package files and Sims 3 um, pack files um, into your Sims 3 game. So practically just mods and clothing and stuff, custom content practically. Um, before you get to downloading a ton of stuff, you're going to need to get... Um, the mods folder with the restore dot resource um, file that um, register that allows your Sims game to register everything into your game. So you're gonna want to click that little link in the description to go to this mod the Sims um, area. Um, how to install pack Sims 3 package files, set up in files. Um, this does act. This um, does not retain to um, the Sims 3 package files. That's completely different. I'll go into that later, but right now this is how to get the package files. So every single time you get a package file, um, you're going to need to extract it and stuff. And um, for that, I actually have WinRAR, which um, in one of my previous videos, I actually my last, my last video before this one, um, showed you guys how to get WinRAR for free without causing any viruses and stuff. It's very quick and easy way and it's not a trial version or anything. It's very easy. So I'll put a link to that video in the description uh, as well. Um, so let's get started with the how to install the Sims 3 package files. So you're gonna wanna go down and you're gonna wanna um, download this already made framework setup zip and you're gonna have to extract this using WinRAR so I'm just gonna press download and you're gonna want to say um, save as I saved it to my desktop because it's easier to access save okay as you can see it's right here and it looks like this and that means this little symbol means that it needs to be extracted in WinRAR so I'm going to go into WinRAR or any if you already have an extracting thing on your computer then use that but WinRAR is the easiest thing to use um you're going to want to go to the framework double click into it and you're going to have this mods folder and what you're going to want to do you want to go into your sims 3 so sims 3 file sorry um, so go into your doc file, um, your documents, electronic arts, Sims 3, and you'll see all this stuff. I already have the mods folder, but if you were, so you just take this and just plop it in there. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. And inside this, you're going to see it's going to have overrides package and, and resource.cfg, so that's... So once you take this and put it in here, you're going to want to X out and go into it, right? You're going to have overrides, packages, and resource.cfg. Now, the resource.cfg is the, is the file that sort of allows a Sims 3 to read all of your packages. Um, I don't have any overrides. Like, I don't really know anyone who has any overrides. Like, overrides you don't want to use. I usually put everything into your... Um, packages file. As you can see, I have it all organized and nice and amazingly organized and stuff. As you can see, which really helps, although most of my stuff is Sims 3 pack. I don't know what it is. I like it better. It's weird, I know, because I don't like to extract things a lot. That's just my preference. And so, I'm going to show you how to download um, a Sims 3 pack thing. I'm just going to delete this because I don't need it. <laughs> okay. So after you download that and put it into your Sims um, folder, you're going to want to go down and go to the test. Um, I don't have this in my game yet, so I'm going to get this. The no intro. And what it does is it eliminates the EA intro video before the game starts loading, which is very very helpful obviously it helps your game load faster um and if this works um the ea intro video will not be there so you know it works intro 
I'm just gonna click on it. Files. And then show zip. You can click on it. And I'm gonna save as. Um, I made my very own. Okay, no way. Oh, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Easiest place to save stuff to. Alright. It's gonna be right there. WinRAR. Here it is. I'm just gonna take it. Go back into my Sims 3. <laughs> Documents. Electronic Arts. Sims 3. Mods. Packages. And I don't really have a folder. I will make a folder. I'm just gonna drag it. There it is. Um, so yeah. Um, delete. I'm gonna quickly make another folder by um, right clicking and pressing new folder. I'm gonna label it. Um, Other, just because I'm multi-name, it's going to be other, and I'm going to insert an RAS and um, the Uno intro package into there. So yeah, um, the next time you open The Sims, it should be there. So I'll be right back, and I'll be in the game. Okay, so here we are, and it's going to be loading. most annoying sounds. So after this, I will show you guys how to install The Sims 3 uh, pack files, which are actually easier, to me anyway. You have to go to an extra step in the Sims 3 launcher, but to me, it's easier. It's sort of the same way you install um, Sims 3 content, but you're downloading it from a third party. If that makes sense. <laughs> Oh and look, there it goes right to the um, into the future um, thing. So that's very helpful, as you can see. Great stuff, mods. <laughs> All right, so if that worked the way it just worked for me, then you'll know it worked right. And if it didn't work, you might have missed something or deleted something, like maybe you deleted the resource or something. But it should work. Um, if you have any problems, feel free to comment down below if you didn't go back, if you went back and, like, checked everything to make sure you do, did everything right. Um, it might just be a problem with your game. It's hard to say. Um, just comment down below and I'll try to help you as best I can. So, now, I'm gonna go into, um, how to download package files. So, for this one, we're gonna go to... The Sims resource, which actually um, a little while ago went free. So now you can get everything for free instead of buying. You can get stuff like you no, know, you no know, like download weights or whatever. But who wants that? So you know what? I'm gonna get this hair, this new nightcrawler hair. I'll give a link to this hair if anyone wants to get it themselves. And everything from the Sims resource is. Sorry guys, I had to leave for a second there, but continue on to continuing on what I was saying before. So pretty much I'm just gonna download this. It's very easy to put it in. Alright, here we go. And as you can see, it just has a countdown if you really wanted to like reduce that time you could buy the um the full ver the the you could buy the VIP membership but now you don't need it to like get certain things. It used to be um that there were certain VIP items that you couldn't get unless you were a VIP. 
Weird, right? Okay. Whoa, this is taking forever. Okay, I'll be back in a second when it's done downloading. So now, okay. It just downloaded. All right, start download. All right, so I'm just going to save as. And with these, it just says Sims 3 Pack on the, on the, um, the back. So all you're going to want to do is go to your documents, electronic art, Sims, Sims 3, and go down to downloads. And as you can see, practically all my stuff is in here um, because I love to use this. All right. So, yeah, I just press save. So, yeah. That's all. And then... X out of that. Okay. I'll be right back when I get my game um, loaded into the, um, what's it called? <laughs> I can't think of words today. I'm so stupid. It's really late right now and I'm tired. Um, okay, you know what? Never mind. I will not. I'll be here. Ooh, why are you like that? Okay, <laughs> let me just get into it. Um, play, come on. I will not be leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm staying. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, so if you go back into it, you're going to see in downloads. If you go to your downloads and your launcher, it's called a launcher. Load. I have so much stuff, it takes forever to load. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I have it right here. So, as you can see, I have a ton of stuff. Alright. Um, I'm just going to click the check button and press install. And it's just going to install. This is um, this also applies to the Sims 3 stuff that you get from the store. And this little icon's going to... This little thing's going to appear. Huh. Good times, Plum Bob. Good times. Love ya. Um, I'm gonna try to put up a video about The Sims 4 custom content, because, like, I haven't gotten any custom content for it yet. So, that's gonna be a ride of pleasure for me. Because I have no idea how to do it. Come on, load. I feel so stupid. I don't even know how to do The Sims 4. Oh my god. Come on. And this thing's gonna pop up. Alright, I'm just gonna press OK. You can do multiple things at once. Like, you can just press and just collect all of... You just got a giant pack. Oh, and then it's gonna turn, like, faded out. Once it's completely downloaded. So, yeah. Here's my all my installed content. Woo, a lot of stuff. Wee. I'll go through my custom content eventually. Like, what I have in my game. Probably that's probably gonna be my next video. Yeah, I'll do that as my next video. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, please comment below. Um, like this video, please, for more. And subscribe to me um, if you want to see more. Um, I'll be working my Let's Play soon, as I have said in past videos. Um, I hope you like this video, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Happy simming, guys! Bye.